Take a moment, see yourself sitting here, chair or couch or something soft beneath you, feet on the floor. Take a deep breath in and out, in and out. Once more in and out. And see yourself as a tree with your roots reaching down, down through the floor, down through your basements, down into soil far beneath where you're sitting. And go down that soil around the rocks, around the boulders, until you find the bedrock far beneath where you're sitting. Feel around on that bedrock until you find that cool, crisp pool of water deep, deep beneath the earth. And we're going to slowly bring this water up into our bodies. With each and every breath, we'll pull this water further and further up into our feet, up into our legs. Each and every breath brings this water further up into our loins and into our bellies. As we breathe, it comes up further into our chest, into our heads. And as we keep on breathing, the water keeps coming up, comes out of our heads and out of our hands and flows back into the water, into the earth. Feel these cool waters, waters of chaos, mixing throughout your body. And take of these waters all oh, the energies that you need. And now we turn our focus up to the heavens. We're going to reach up with our branches, grow through the ceilings, grow through the roofs, reach up into the sky through the clouds, if there are any out there, and reach up until you find that one star directly above your head. And we're going to reach up with our branches. We're going to pull the fires from above down, the fires of order, and bring them down slowly into our bodies. Each and every breath, we bring the fires down, down into our heads, into our chests, as we breathe, we bring it down further and further into our bellies and into our loins. As we bring it down even further into our legs and into our feet. If you look at yourself, you're pulling the light from above and the water from below. Mix them throughout your body. Or powers of order and chaos. The powers of potential. Filling you with everything that you could possibly need. Take of these energies all that you need. Fill your reserves. And when you're ready, take the time and push the waters back down into the earth and pull your roots up. Push the light back up into the sky. Pull your branches in. And know that whenever you need to, you can always reach down. You can always reach up and pull these energies back into yourself. But for now, disconnect. Take a deep breath in and out. In and out. And open your eyes and join us once again. First, we make offerings to the Earth Mother. Mighty Earth Mother, you surround us. You support us. You are turning very green very quickly right now. It is your time to grow and bring things into blossom. To you, to you we make this offering as you continue on your path, say, Earth Mother, accept our offerings.
We are here to honor the gods. We're here to honor the land spirits and we're here to honor the ancestors. And we're here to ask blessings from all the kindred. But first, let us hallow our hallows. Mighty wells, you go deep into the earth. You connect us to the underworld, to the ancestors far below. To you, we give you this gift of silver. And we say sacred waters flow within us. Sacred so, waters flow within us. Mighty fire, you who burns and transforms, you send our offerings high into the sky to the realms of the shining ones. We offer you this incense. And we say sacred fires burn within us. Sacred fires burn within us. A mighty tree, your roots go deep to the wells below. And your branches go high to the heavens far above. We spurs you with the water, we sense you with the incense. And we say, sacred tree, grow within us. Sacred tree, grow within us. And by the might of the water, the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. By the might of the water and the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. By the might of the water and the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. So be it. So be it. To the mighty gatekeepers, to all of you who have aided us in the past, we call to you. We ask you to open the ways between the worlds. We ask you to watch over us as we do our work this evening and guard us and guide us as we walk these holy paths. We ask that you take our messages far and wide, that you bring back to us all that we need to hear. Gatekeepers all, accept our offerings. Gatekeepers, accept our offerings. Now, gatekeepers, join your magic with ours in my house and in all of our houses. Let the wells open as a gate to the underworld. Let the fires open as a gate to the upper worlds. Let the tree be the crossroads between all the worlds open to our spirits and open to our voices. Let the gates be opened. Let the gates be opened. Let them be opened in my house and in all of our houses. First, let's make offerings to the ancestors. To all of you who are of our own family, our own kin, we offer you welcome. To all of you who we find inspiring, our mentors, our inspirations, we offer you welcome. And to all of you of this very land, you who are here where we are long before us, we offer you welcome. To all of you, come, join us by our fires. Ancestors, accept our offerings. Ancestors, accept our offerings. Next, we make offerings to the land spirits. Be you fur and feather, scale and skin, our animal kin, we offer you welcome. Be you leaf and twig, stem and flower, our plant kin, we offer you welcome. Be you the unseen, the house and land spirits, we offer you welcome. Come. And join us by our fires. Land spirits, accept our offerings. 
Land spirits, accept our offerings. To the shining ones, gods and gods of the elder days, you who watch over each and every one of us, of nations and patrons, we offer you welcome. To those gods and goddesses of this very earth, you who are here long before us, we offer you welcome gods and goddesses that are known and unknown to us, to all of you, we offer you welcome. Come, join us by our fires, shining ones, accept our offerings. Shining ones, accept our offerings. At this point in time, if you have offerings to make, please feel free to make them. Let these offerings be offered to the gods, the ancestors, and the noble spirits. Uh, may all the communities that have seen their religious structures uh, damaged in some way in the past few weeks, be it the churches in Louisiana, the mosque in Jerusalem, the Buddhist temple in Michigan, Notre Dame in Paris, and all the many others we have not heard of. May you find healing within your communities. There are no further offerings. Mighty Kindred, we give to you one last time, and we ask for your blessings in return. Mighty Kindred, accept our sacrifice. Mighty Kindred, accept our sacrifice. Mighty Kindred, shining one. Oh, sorry. Start with the ancestors. Ancestors, what blessings do you give us? They give us pear throw, the dice cup, games of chance, and the land spirits. What blessings do you give us? I hope this is not literal. They give us Isa, ice. Could be blockages, could be stagnation. Shining ones, what blessings do you give us? They give us Tilas. Doing the right thing, no matter the cost. Uh, this is coming across to me as take a chance, do the right thing. You'll get past what is stopping you. Do we accept these omens? Most gladly. Then, ancient mighty ones, we have given to you, and we have heard these omens returned. In my glass, and in all of our glasses, fill our waters with these omens. Fill them with perithro the chance that we need to take. Fill them with tiwas and the right actions we need to do. Fill them with Isa and the blockages we need to get through by doing those right actions. Fill our waters with these omens. Behold the waters of life. Behold the waters of life. And now let us thank all of those who have aided us. Shining ones, be our patrons and matrons, be of this place, or be you unknown to us. 
for all that you do. Shining ones, we thank you. Shining ones, we thank you. To the land spirits, be your animal kin, our plant kin, or our unseen kin, for all that you do for us. Land spirits, we thank you. Land spirits, we thank you. And to the ancestors, be your family, be your chosen family, or be you of this very earth, for all that you do for us. Ancestors, we thank you. Ancestors, we thank you. And gatekeepers, once more you have aided us, you have held the ways open, taken our messages far and wide, brought back what we needed to hear. For all that you have done for us, gatekeepers, we thank you. Gatekeepers, we thank you. And now, gatekeepers, we ask that you once more join your magic with ours. Let the wells become but water once more. Let the fires become but flames once more. And let the trees become but a tree once more. Let the gates be closed. Let the gates be closed. Last but not least, to the Earth Mother. Without you, we wouldn't be here. Without you, we would not have the beauty that surrounds us every day. For all that you do for us, Earth Mother, we thank you. Earth Mother, we thank you. And go now, children of Earth, in wisdom and peace, for this rite has ended. <laughs>